Hey guys, so today I have a new video for you guys and I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial on my mum. She went to her party, well Christmas party the other day and she wanted me to do her makeup so I decided to film it. So yeah, the first thing that I'm going to do is moisturise her skin and I'm using the Origins Ultra Rich Rejuvenating Face Cream just to make sure that her skin's nicely hydrated and then I'm going to be using this Wonderlift 60 second wrinkle reducer that was kindly sent to me by Wonderbrow and this stuff is actually really good because you put it under the eyes and it literally just smooths it out so if you have any like fine lines or anything like that it literally just smooths it all out and when you put concealer on it just looks really really nice and smooth so it does what it's supposed to do anyway so I was really really shocked when I tried this on my mum and they also sent me some brow products and oh my god I kid you not when you put these brow products on your brows they will not budge you can literally go swimming with it or sleep with it and they will just stay on I put these on and I slept with it and it stayed on till the next day they're just so good I mix uh, the black one and then the black brown together to get a nice shade for my mum and just filled in her brows I then used the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in medium dark warm to carve out her brows and clean everything up and I also use this on her eyelids so that this is like a nice primer for her eyeshadow to go onto and then I'm grabbing the uh, Smashbox Full Exposure Palette and grabbing this pale shade in the palette to set that concealer in place. Next I'm going to be taking the Smashbox Double Exposure Palette and this one has really really nice um, pinky reddish, well not reddish but pinky purple colours in there but I'm going to be using the brown one in the palette just to um, add a bit of shadow and dimension to the lid. I'm mostly applying this brown shade on the outer V area and also into the crease and nicely buffing it out so there's no harsh lines as always. And then I'm going to be taking this pink glitter that I got from the glitter set that I got from Amazon. My mum absolutely loves glitter so um, and she loves pink as well so we decided to put pink glitter on her lids. And um, I'm using some lash glue on the lid first and then just tapping this on with my finger first but then I took a brush and then just lightly tapped it in. As I'm going towards the brow I do apply less and less glitter so that the glitter transitions away if that makes any sense. It's not like a harsh line of glitter it literally just blends out. And I don't have actual glitter glue with me so I always use, well I have always been using just lash glue and it works really good for me. Um, next I'm going to be using the black shade from the Double Exposure Palette and I'm going to apply this like an outer V shape on the outer corner of her eye. This is just going to make the eyeshadow look, look a bit more smoky and a bit more like party makeup like. I'm then going to be taking the NYC liquid eyeliner in black which is one of my favourite liquid eyeliners ever. I'm just going to create a simple winged eyeliner look but because my mum has hooded eyes I am going to keep the line on the mobile lid very very thin so that it doesn't take her lid space away and I'm cleaning up the wing with a bit of well makeup wipe. So then for foundation I'm using the NARS Sheer Glow foundation in Tahoe and I'm just going to apply this with the Real Techniques uh, Expert Face Brush, I think that's what it's called. Um, I've been loving this brush to apply foundation, it just applies it really really nicely. I'm just going to buff that into her skin and then for concealer I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD concealer in the shade Honey. And I'm just going to apply this under her eyes, dot it a bit under there and then I'm going to blend it all out with this um, sponge that I got from Boots. I've been using these more often. My beauty blender is getting really old now so I use it less and I've been using these really cheap sponges from Boots and they work really really well. I use them to blend my concealer and also bake with it. And then to set that concealer in place I am using the Ben Nye Banana Powder and I'm doing a bit of baking under the eyes and also around the mouth area. You want to keep that for like around two seconds I don't even keep it that long and then I just brush it all off with a clean brush 
If you guys haven't tried Bernard Banana Powder yet, I definitely recommend it. I do have a video where I compare it to a much cheaper version, which was the Makeup Revolution one. So if you guys want to check that video out, I'll leave a link in the info box. But then I'm going to be using the MAC Studio Fix Powder in NC45 just to set her whole face. My mum uses this powder on a daily. She just really loves this powder. And then onto bronzing, I am using the MAC uh, Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Deep. And I'm kind of contouring slash bronzing with this, just adding a bit of colour and dimension to her skin. I'm using this on her cheeks, forehead and down her neck as well. Next, I'm going to be using a blush. This is the EX1 uh, blush in Natural Flush. And my mum loves a bit of blush, so I'm putting more than usual. And then on to highlights, I'm using the Becca Champagne Pop highlighting collaboration with Jaclyn Hill and my mum was like looking at my skin the other day and she's like your face is so glowy and I did the same to her skin and she absolutely loves it my mum doesn't use highlighter at all really so she actually really liked that um and then next I'm just going to set all her face well all her face in all her makeup in with the NYX dewy finish setting spray I told her not to squint but she obviously ended up doing that but you don't really want to squint while you're setting your face with makeup spray because it can accentuate fine lines so try not to do that um, next I'm going to be applying a bit of mascara. This is the Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara. I'm not going to be putting falsies on her because she does wear false, she does wear glasses I mean. So it kind of like bothers her but I did skip that step. But if you guys want to put falsies go ahead it will look really really good with this look. And then onto lips I'm using the Makeup Revolution Liquid Lipstick in I Keep Lying For You or I Keep Trying For You but it will be written down in the info box. After that I did apply some mascara on her lower lashes as well and I did use this Maybelline uh, Skinny Precise Master something <laughs> gel eyeliner. I forgot the name, it's so long but I will write in the info box. And I'm just using this on her lower waterline just to make it a bit more smoky. And yeah, that's all I did for this look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want more makeover videos let me know and what type of them would you like to see. Make sure to subscribe for more videos and I love you guys and I'll see you next time.